Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Okay, we are going to do a lovely five by five, full body, little hit, little strength, and all you actually need is your body weight for this one. Options, if you feel like adding weight, if you want to add in a resistance band, obviously you can feel free to do any of that. Okay, so how the five by five works, we have five exercises, a little bit of everything, we're gonna do five rounds. And it's up being 25 minutes of work and you are done. So if you have not done a proper warm up, pause the video, do it, okay? <laughs> I've prepped myself already. There's also prep videos that you can do. Um, pause, go back into the YouTube channel, check those out. Okay, we're gonna get started right away. Um, I'm not gonna take us through them all. We're gonna do them together as we go. So one minute of work. We go, 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 hold the joist. First one, four squats to one jump. My non-jumpers, I'll show an option to a calf raise. Let's get started. Band weight optional, three, two, one. Otherwise it's body weight. Four squats, body weight, four, three, two, one to one jump. Okay, my non-jumpers, you will come into a squat calf raise. Four regular squats, making sure you're getting that full hip extension. Four there to one jump. Now, notice if you can jump a little higher, it's only one jump out of five squats. Think of it that way. Get those feet off of the floor or come into that nice tall calf raise position. Squeezing those glutes as you squat, getting the hip extension. That means the glutes engage at the top of each squat. And then you come into that jump. Four squats. I'm gonna get that heart rate going very quickly. Let's go. Four and one. For five, four, three. It's a lot of squats. Two and one. Okay. Three push ups to stand. What's that? What is that going to look like? Option to be on the knees, on the toes. We give ourselves three, two, one. Either step, jump those feet in, squeeze to stand back down, jump or step those feet out. Three push ups, two. One jump or step those feet in, come up to stand. Also, option to do this elevated on a bench or a chair. Three push ups, jump or step those feet in. That would be your modifier. Keep that going. Ooh, we're only 30 seconds in, team. It's a lot of reps today. Body weight, do your best to stay with me. Let's go. High heart rate, you got to think of 25 minutes. Straight work. We got this. We got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last feet to one jump or jack. I'm going to show you. 10 seconds, fast feet. Light toes. Put the arms in there as well. Core braced. We go for one jump in three or jack squat. Two, one, jump. Right back to your fast feet, 10 seconds. Jack squat, you can go in, out. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Let's go, we got this for the full 60 seconds. You're gonna get six jumps in there, 10 seconds of the fast feet jump. Let's go, back to your fast feet. You can take your fast feet lateral, that static lateral, static position is boring. Three, two, jump, one. Let's go. Last feet. Keep it light. Three, two, one. One more time. Last feet. Final one. Final ten. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Okay. Coming down. Alternating. Heel tap. Modify. Tap right. Tap left. If you can come all the way up. Better option. Full sit up. Otherwise, you're getting that little core crunch, tapping that heel, or coming all the way up, tapping that heel. It is essentially a sit up, lifting and tapping to the inside, ankle heel position as you go here. So our rate is elevated. We're moving. We're going to get through about five minutes. I'm going to give us 15 seconds to recover. Okay, and then we go back to another round. Now, maybe you're only here to do three rounds. Maybe you're here to do four, maybe five. You're doing you. 
Maybe it's one. Maybe you only have 10 minutes. That is fine. Do you? Three, two, one, flip it over. We come into down dog, okay? We're gonna bring those hips back towards heels. Right knee over to left. Step it back, come into that beast position, bend the legs, left knee over to the right, back to beast. Walk those hands all the way up and stand. Walk it out. Okay, hit your plank. Hips come back towards heels. Right knee to left, cross it. Left knee to right, cross it. Walk those hands back, stand. Let's go. This one's a nice one to finish with. Hips towards heels, cross. Hips towards heels, cross to the other side. Walk those hands back in, all the way up to standing. Keep it going. We have 15 seconds left. You're gonna get a little rest. Hips back, draw the knee. Hips back, other side. Hips back, walk those hands to stand. Five, four, three, two, and pause. 15 seconds, rest, water. Okay, we're getting our heart rate up to that beautiful medium to high, depending on how you're feeling, that great conditioning zone. Okay, we start back to those four squats, one jump in three, two, one, let's go. Four squats. You can add a weight here. You can add a band here. You can add both. You can take it right into that body weight. Four squats, one jump. Four squats, one jump. Let's go. Making sure that full hip extension, activating those glutes. It's not a pulse. Okay, so don't cheat yourself. Squeeze at the top to that one jump. Okay. I have to keep saying round two, otherwise I get lost in our rounds. So I'm gonna start integrating that in as we go here. Second round, we got five to complete together. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Three push-ups to that stand position. Let's go. On the knees, on the toes for those push-ups you choose, brace that core. Three full push-ups. Jump or step in, jump or step out. Let's go. Three push ups. Jump or step in, squeeze to stand. Let's go. Stepping or jumping those feet in and out. You get to choose that. You've got three push ups. Activate that core. Let's go, team. We got this. 15 seconds left. Ooh, got a little itch. <laughs> 15 seconds, come on. Get those reps in. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, fast feet to jump. Let's go, run it out 10 seconds. Okay, I think I said six jumps. It's actually five. And jump, let's go. Fast feet to your one jump, or if it's a calf raise, or if it's a jack squat, choosing your option. Three. Two, one. Also, you can change your fast feet in and out. So you can move the lower body in and out or stay wide. You choose three, two, one. Let's go. We got two left. Maybe it is six. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It is six. Oh dear. Not in her math. We know it's not strong. Let's go. Jump it out. We got two more. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to take myself for a little tour here. Three, two, jump. One, and we have one left. Last 10 seconds. On those fast feet. Going. Four, three, two, and jump. Come on to your back. Alternating, tapping that heel. Maybe you're just doing this modified version. Reaching, tapping. Or take it all the way up. Let's go. Making sure you're challenged here, okay? So if you feel like you're just tapping that heel and reaching and it's not challenging for you, do the full sit. Tap that heel. Let's go. Full sit and tap, alternating that ankle or heel. Tap right there. We've got 15 seconds to go. You're aiming to get anywhere between 10 and 20 in that minute. 
Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep breathing. We only have one more exercise. You get your second rest for round two. Three, two, and one. Okay. Start in that plank position. Hips come back towards heels. Feet are shoulder distance apart. Right knee crosses to left. Step it back. Drop the hips. Left knee crosses to right. Walk the hands back to stand. Let's go. Walk it out to plank. Hips towards heels. Cross right. Cross left. Walk your hands back to your feet. Keep it going for this one here. We just want to find that consistent pace, driving that knee across that body. Maybe you'll get in four or five um, times through this series. Hips back, drive the knee. Hips back, other side. Walk it back. Oh my goodness. Rest is coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Rest. 15 seconds. Rest water. We go into the third round. So good, team. You're killing it. Keep it up. We started five, four, three, two. <clears throat> Four spots, one jump. Let's go. Oh, the legs are already starting to feel that. Four and one. Remember, you have the option for a calf raise here. Push your knees apart out as you squat and then give power on your jump. Four squats, full hip extension at the top. One jump. Let's go, team. Four and one, four and one. Get those hips low. Keep that chest proud. Remember, you can have a band on for this one. You can hold the weight at your chest for this one. All of the options choose for you. Five, four, three, two. Push up for three, stand for one. Modify it by coming onto that elevated surface or dropping those knees for your push ups. Jump or step those feet in. <laughs> Almost lost my balance there. Let's go. Three push-ups, step or jump, in, stand, back down. And you're like, Nat, why are we standing? You want to do a minute of straight push-ups? <laughs> we get used to that in and out position for such things as burpees, but we are not in an elevated state of jumping here. You might be jumping those feet in, but we're not jumping to the top. Just coming up, stepping it out. A great way of practicing that up and down with the body as well. Five, four, three, two, and fast feet to jump. Let's go, 10 seconds. Let's go, you can move it side to side. You can take it in and out. This is round three. Oh, we're gonna be past that halfway point and jump. Let's go, fast feet, 10 seconds. And jump, yes, keep it going. Right and left, maybe you're gonna go in a circle, little half circles, <laughs> in and out. Let's jump, let's go. It is six, oh my goodness, Matt, sometimes. And jump. <laughs> I do make myself laugh, I guess that's the bonus. Right, fast feet, choosing your option. On those toes, nice and light, jump. We got one left, last 10 seconds. Right here. We come down into the alternating heel tap. Almost, let's drop first. Now come on down, let's go. Alternating tap, all the way up, all the way up. Now, you can also do this one. Didn't show it or say it yet. Ooh, almost dropped that weight on my foot. With a weight coming in, just tapping that top of the shin, adding weight to a setup makes it easier. You have more momentum coming up just with load. It's a lot for that core team. Try to find the pace that works for you to obtain as many reps as you can in that full minute of work. Tap right, tap left. Notice I'm using my arms to help with that momentum to come up. Remember you have the modified of tapping, alternating the inside of that ankle 
Now you bend knee in. You're still working core muscle groups there. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Okay, come into your plank position. Come back to your beast position. Hips towards the heels. Step right, drive that knee. Step left, drive that knee. Walk those hands back. Squeeze to stand. Walk it back out. Let's go. Beast. Right knee crosses. Beast. Left knee crosses. Walk those hands back. Squeeze to stand. Another good variation to get that up-down motion. Press right. Beast cross left. Walk it out. Walk it in, actually. <laughs> and walk it out. Keep it acting. 15 seconds left. Right here. That's the end of the third round. You're past halfway. Be proud of that. Let's go. Nothing like a good little body weight series here. Getting that full body going. Strength through the core, legs, and it all. Three, two, and one. Rest for 15. Okay. You are noticing that you're going to get a little bit of everything. Conditioning, heart rate's high, shoulders, core, legs. Five seconds. Round four. Okay, team. Three, two, we come back to four squats, one jump. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Getting hip extension every time. On your fifth one is your jump. Four full squats, one jump. Four and one, four and one. Let's go. Try and find that pace. Maybe you have to slow down the squats. Maybe you're taking a longer time at the top of that squat. If you need that, take it. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Almost there, 10 seconds. We've got this. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Three push ups to stand. Let's go. Jumping or stepping those feet in and out on the knees, elevated on the toes. Choose for you. Jump or step, feet in and out. I like to jump mine in and then step my feet out. I find that the jump in creates power. But coming down to protect my back, I take it back into that plank, drop my knees down. Do what feels good for you though, if that jump is okay. Make sure that core stays braced as you go here. Also, see if you can jump or step those hands in as close as you can, the feet in, sorry, as close as you can to those hands. That creates some good core engagement. Five, four, three, two, Last feet. Let's go. Okay. A good little sweat on here. We're working hard. Fourth round. You're so close. Five, four, three, two. Maybe you're kicking into a jack squat. Maybe it's a squat jump. Maybe it's a squat calf raise. All the options. Again in three, two, one. Let's go. I'm going to take my fast feet in and out. Ooh, all of the feels there. And jump, let's go. Three to go. Three to go. Travel, travel. And jump. Let's go. Keep moving. Maybe your fast feet is slower. I don't care. Keep moving. That's the goal here. Jump number second last. Jump for second last. Second last jump. We got one to go. Three, two, and jump. Alternating heel taps. Those leggies are getting, they're getting that, they're getting their job done today. That's for sure. Alternate tap right, alternate tap left. Option to add in that weight. If you want to try that variation or stay on the back, drop the knee, reach and tap inside of ankle heel. Let's go. Three options to choose from. Three options to keep moving and strengthening that core. Let's go. Okay. We have that walkout, like beast, crossing that knee to stand. Fourth round is done. We only have one to go. 
That's great news, team. Keep it going. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two. Flip it over into that plank. Let's go. Beast, hips come back. Cross that knee. Over to the opposite side. Other side. Walk it back. All the way up. Stand. Back down. Come on, beast. Back. Forward. Back. Forward, back, walk those hands to meet the feet, and up. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, second last time. You only have to do this exercise one more time. We do them all one more time. We still have 30 seconds here, though. You get rest, 15. Back to fourth, and then you have completed that five by five. Let's go, team. Some serious 25 minutes body weight work right there. Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds. I like to see, I've been just monitoring the heart rate at the end of each round. It's getting higher. You're working harder. That's a good thing. Or maybe you're consistent and you're seeing it around that same zone every time. Final one, four squats to jump in three, two, let's go, four, feel in those legs, four squats, one jump, power and explode in that jump. You've got this team, keep it up, four and one. Stop, let's go, final round. You've made it this far, so this is where we want to output maybe a bit more. You know you have less than five minutes of work to go. That is something to be proud of, something to look forward to. Four squats, one jump, last 10 seconds. Come on, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Three push-ups, jump or step those feet into stand. Let's go. Push. The floor away, keep that core braced. Let's go, stepping or jumping out. You have three push-ups. Yes, strong core. Jump those feet in or step those feet in nice and close to those hands every time. Maybe you're focusing on a wider push-up. Maybe you're focusing on a tricep push-up. We go wide here for fun. Get into the chest a bit more. Let's go team. That's it. Fight for those last reps, 15 seconds. You are so close. Let's go. Yes. Five, four, three, two, fast feet right away. I know you want to rest. We're in that home stretch now, less than three minutes. Everybody jump. Jack squat or calf raise. Let's go. Quick feet, fast feet, football feet, whatever you want to call it, and jump. Let's go. Let's go. And move your arms and keep them close. And jump. Yes, power and explode. Engage in that landing. Keep it going. Keep it going. And jump. Two to go. You are so close. You are so close. We come into that alternating crunch or full sit tap. Jump. We're not there yet, though. The last 10 seconds. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself, letting you know what's to come. Three, two, let's go. Come on down. Let's go. Let's go. Alternating those taps right away. Crunch tap or full sit tap. Reaching for heel ankle, driving that knee in towards the chest. Yes, keep it going. Do your best to find the pace for that full 60 seconds. Guess what? We have a minute and a half left of work, and you are done. Let's go. Modify by keeping that back on the floor. Reach, tap. Reach, tap, keep it up. Almost there, come on, 
Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, flip it over. Last minute of work here, team. Let's go. Come back to your beast. Drive the knee. Other side. Drive the knee. Walk the hands. Back to the feet. Stand. Walk it out. Let's go. Let's go, beast. Cross that knee. Other side. Walk those hands in. So good, team. Come on. Fight for this last bit of rep. This last bit of movement right here. You've got 30 seconds to go. You're going to hit that beautiful 25 minute mark of work. Don't stop yet, though. Don't stop yet. Ugh. Some serious core, some quads, some shoulders right here. Come on. Drive that knee across the body. Engage through that core. Let's go. Let's go. We have five, four, three, two, time. Wow. That got a good little sweat on. That got that heart rate up quite high. I'm in a perfect working zone for that consistent cardio. We are going to do a little stretch if you would like, which I encourage. Okay, grab a sip of water. Take some nice big breaths in and out. If you feel like you still have more in you, do it again. <laughs> Give yourself 50 minutes. That is tough. Maybe you're going to do a yoga video. Maybe you're going to do some mobility. We're going to do about three minutes to cool down. And we're going to start in a lizard, in a lizard pose. So you're going to come onto those hands and those knees. We'll bring the left foot forward first by the left hand. Lift up that back right knee, untuck the toes. And then I want you to think of that left knee driving away from your body. And we're going to hang out and breathe here. Breathing into the front of that right leg. Zoe might be joining us for a little stretch here. Or maybe not. She changed her mind. She thought I was done. <laughs> she makes her cameos from time to time. We all know that. Taking one more big breath in right there. Good. And then walk those hands slightly back and then press your hips back. Leave your left heel where it is. Just press your hips back. You're in a nice hamstring stretch. Maybe you can tend those fingertips and round through the spine a little bit more. Pull up those left toes. Getting into that hamstring. Body is super warm here. Perfect time to stretch. Take one more breath in there. Nice job. Okay. Left foot comes back to meet the right. Right comes forward into the lizard on that side. Toes stay flat, right knee drives away. I didn't give the option. Most of you guys know this. If you want to be down on your forearms here in this stretch, you can if you have the space and capacity through the hips. I do not. My hips don't love that, so I stay up on my hands. Taking one more breath in. Good. Walking those hands slightly back. Press your hips back. Flex through that right side. So the hands are inside of that leg. Flexing a lot through the right side. Round through your spine here. Nice job. Oh, that feels so good. So good. Okay. From here, you're going to make your way to a seated position. Let's extend the left leg out in front. Take that right leg up and over the left. Take your right hand in behind you. Left elbow is going to hook to that knee, coming into just a nice little gentle twist here. Big breath in, big breath out. Do that one more time. And then counter stretch that. So good. Switch it out to the other side. Right leg out, left leg crosses over. Left hand comes behind you. Right elbow hooks, twisting to your left. Breathing there. Big breath in. Out. Counter twist that. Leave the legs, twist it over. So good. We're going to come into Vatakanasana leg. So soles of those feet come together. Take the hands to those uh, ankles, shin area. Take the elbows, press those knees down. Just a beautiful stretch for those hips. You can bring your chest maybe slightly further forward. Oh my goodness. That feels so good. Take one more breath in there. Amazing. Okay. Oh, I can stay there for a while. We've got some serious 
external hip tightness going on. Extend those legs straight up, flex those toes. Take a big inhale, reach the arms all the way up overhead. And then exhale, fold over those legs, grabbing for toes, shins, ankles, whatever feels good for you. Taking a nice big breath in and out. Do that one more time, big breath in. And release. Amazing job. You got your heart rate up. You got some strength. Maybe you added load, resistance with your band, all of those glorious things. Be proud. A nice quick little sweat to start or end your day. Maybe it's in the middle of your day too. <laughs> all of the things. Well, well done. Um, amazing, amazing job. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely got a good little sweat on there. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye everyone.